In this video, we're going to look at reflexes and the reflex arc, and I think the best place to start is to talk about, well, what are reflexes? Well, reflexes are fast, they're automatic, and they protect the body from harm. And what they're responding to is something called a stimulus, okay? And a stimulus is a change in the environment. And the stimulus is the first point of this thing we call the reflex arc. A reflex arc just shows how our body responds to a stimulus and it shows all the nerves or neurons involved. So I'm going to put the definition of a stimulus over here. So a stimulus is a change in the environment that can be detected by our body. So it might be light, it might be temperature, it might be pain, it might be a fly flying towards your eye, it might be a doctor's hammer against your knee, but that's just it, a change in the environment, something that we can respond to. So, let's look at the reflex arc. Reflex arc, like I said, starts with a stimulus, a change in the environment. So there's our stimulus. It doesn't matter what it is, but that's going to be detected, I'll move this across, detected by special cells in your body known as receptors. And you've got loads of these in various different places. Um, for instance, the cells that are the receptors for light we find in the eye, in the retina. Um, the cells that are responsible for being responsive to the stimulus of sound are found in the ear. Touch receptors are found in the skin. Taste or chem uh, receptors that are sensitive to chemicals in food, they're found on your tongue. Chemicals in the air, those receptors are found in your nose. And balance receptors, they're found in your ears. So there's loads of different kinds. And once the receptors has, have received the information, the stimulus, they convert it into an electrical impulse, which we are going to call a nerve impulse. So what happens is they pass a signal there we go to something called a sensory neuron which is a nerve cell. Sensory neuron. And the job of the sensory neuron whoops, the job of the sensory neuron is to transport that signal to the central nervous system and more specifically to the spinal cord which is what we call the coordinator for reflexes. So this guy, the sensory neuron, is going to pass the signal on and it's going to pass the signal on to what's called a relay neuron which we find in the spinal cord. I'll put that in brackets, in spinal cord. There we go. Then we need to send the message after the spinal cord has told us what we want to do. The spinal cord, or the relay neuron, is then going to pass the signal on to a motor neuron. So again, passes signal to something called a motor neuron. And the motor neuron is going to go on and that's going to pass the signal on to something called an effector. And an effector is what's going to make the response happen. So again, passes signal, last time for this. So this is going to be something a different color because it's not a neuron. It's going to be an effector. An effector can be one of two things. It can either be a muscle or a gland. And it depends what the stimulus is and what the reflex is as to what the effector is. And that's going to cause the end result, which we call a response, which is what we see. And there we go. I'll have that one in pink. And this is the process that all of the simplest reflexes take. 
There we go. So if the stimulus, for example, going through that again, if the stimulus was touching a hot pan, that would be detected by pain or heat receptors in your hand, or in the skin of your hand, which would pass the signal to a sensory neuron, which would pass the signal to a relay neuron in the spinal cord, which would then pass the signal to a motor neuron, which would then pass the signal to an effector. In this case, it would be a muscle in your hand telling you to let go of the pan, and that causes the response, which is dropping the pan or letting go of the hot pan. So all of this is designed to be really quick, to involve as fewer neurons as possible, and to protect the body from harm as much as you can. So that's your reflex arc. The reflex arc. There we go. Now it's really important if you're answering an exam question on this, you must not use the word nerve, it must be either nerve cell or neuron, and you must talk in pairs, so you must say that the receptor passes the signal to the sensory neuron, it's usually worth a mark, the sensory neuron passes the signal to the relay neuron in the spinal cord, that's usually worth a mark, so talk about it in pairs all the time. So in between, at each of these points, let's put them on in green, at each of these points, where neurons are joining together, and to a lesser extent over here, but I won't leave that one on. Um, where those green asterisks are, there are these things called synapses. And these are gaps between nerve cells, or junctions between neurons. And these are great, because what they do is they pass the signal on in a different way. So instead of being electrical impulses, um, they're chemicals that pass on the signal. So what happens is, if we imagine you've got two neurons really close together, I'll just zoom in for this, two neurons, there's the end of one neuron, and there's the end of another neuron. The electrical impulse is going to pass down this this neuron here, and what's going to happen in the end of that neuron there are these chemicals called neurotransmitters and as the nerve impulse arrives these guys get released and they move out into the gap between the neuron and then they attach let me switch that around a bit they attach to the second neuron and they cause, when they attach, they cause a new nerve impulse to be created in the second neuron. And that's called synaptic transmission. So it involves chemicals which move across or diffuse across the synapse. And they start a new nerve impulse in the second new in the second neuron. In the second neuron. And that's it. That is reflexes, a fast automatic response designed to protect the body. That is the definition of a stimulus, a change in the environment. That is the reflex arc, stimulus, receptor, sensory neuron, relay neuron, motor neuron, effective response, and synaptic transmission. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. This is my first proper 